Hi Leo, this is your April 3rd through April 9th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first bit is a new love this week. Uh, we have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the potential outcome. We have uh, the Ace of Pentacles with the Lovers and uh, the Star. And we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn. Um, we also have uh, Gemini and Aquarius on the table. We could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. You know what I noticed right away is that we have mostly cups and pentacles on the table. The first spread, the main spread all the way on your left, is just cups and pentacles. <laughs> then we also have the page of cups on the bottom of the deck and the ace of pentacles. Uh, the first uh, card in the potential outcome. So what that usually means is that this person is not only talking the talk, they're walking the walk. They're very loving, emotional, but at the same time they're very practical down to earth and they're serious about you. Right? For some of you, for some of you Leos, if you are a, a single parent, they could also be a single parent, right? Because we've got a couple of pages here, the page of Pentacles and the page of Cups. It could be children for some of you. Right. Um, if if children are not uh, a part of this equation just yet, uh, then uh, you are you could be meeting at this person at some kind of a reunion. In this case, you already know this person, or you're meeting this person at some kind of a event or a celebration, or they are going to invite you to go. All right. Um, so speaking of that, the first card I came out is the Three of Cups, which is clarified by that page, the Page of Pentacles. The Three of Cups. Again, if you have children, it could be a children's, uh, some kind of a child birthday party, right? Or a children play or a playground or whatever they do after school, <laughs> right? If there is no children just yet, then the Three of Cups is a card of a reunion or a card of a celebration, right? And uh, you could be celebrating anything. It could be a concert, it could be a show, it could be a game. A party of some sort or a gathering, right? For some of you, it could be like a potluck party because the Page of Pentacles could be you bringing something to the table, or they may purchase tickets, right? And perhaps you met this person and you're gonna go on a date, or you met them online and they're gonna say, you know what, I got tickets to this show or a concert, why don't you come with me? Okay, so you got two pages, right? The Page of Pentacles, usually something tangible, something you can touch. And the Page of Cups could be them just su being super nice to you. Could be flowers too. Um, and I think the two of you will get on the same page real, real quick. Even though there is no fast-moving energy cards on the table, um, everything points to the fact that you guys are going to resonate with each other right away, right? Because Immediately after the Three of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But the Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term and money. Okay, <laughs> but in this case, it's definitely long term. The Knight of Pentacles is the knight that plans ahead. The Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most stable, the most grounded knight out of all four knights. But at the same time, the Ace of Cups is a very loving energy, right? The Ace of Cups is genuine, authentic love. The Ten of Pentacles, the next card over, see there's no hesitation. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment to marriage, rock solid commitment to marriage as a matter of fact. This is when people buy real estate together, grow old together, have children, or have more children together if that is still an option for them. You know, I could have stopped right there because those five cards in the main spread tell the whole story, right? Um, I decided to go further. <laughs> In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Lovers and the, the Star. So this is when a couple of major Arcana cards come in. Right, The Lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with. The Lovers is a card of a choice. But I, again, I don't really see anybody hesitating and making choices. Right, Nobody is going to be slowing down to think about it. Granted, we all choose to be in relationships or, or marriages, right? But in this case, the lovers could be, again, a Gemini. The lovers could be uh, your soulmate. It's a, also a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the love of your life. All right, the star right next to the deck would be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a card of a wish come true, something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. The Ace of Pentacles, the first card in there is the second Ace, so perhaps it was worth 
pulling these cards, pulling these uh, uh, potential outcome, the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. And it's kind of symbolic. Again, Cups and Pentacles. You see how the Knight of Pentacles is holding up a pentacle, right? That's exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles. It's just a way of the universe to confirm that this person is serious about you because the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family. So yeah, this looks very loving and rock solid at the same time, Leo. I just love it for you. I'm not even going to bother with an extended. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Wands. And we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. Well, you guys are either going somewhere or you're deciding whether you actually want to go or not. And uh, at the end, we do have um, progress. Or are you going somewhere? The only major arcana card on the table we have is the sun on the bottom of the deck, which is your major arcana card, which, I, which makes me assume that uh, <laughs> you will have the final word. <laughs> Not that I ever doubted that, <laughs> but that's just, uh, that's just here. All right? We start off with the Eight of Swords, qualified by the Two of Pentacles. So this is either you or both of you. Um, thinking about options, weighing pros and cons, and it's been taken a while, or will be taken a while, right? The Eight of Swords is a card of stagnation, right? There is a person standing, and they're bonded, they're unable to move forward, right? It's also a card of somebody who is stuck in their own thoughts, and it's a card of somebody who is overthinking. The Two of Pentacles, clarifying the Eight of Swords, yeah, weighing pros and cons, or comparing, contrasting, looking at options, and things like that. And uh, here comes clarity. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. The Ace of Swords is the word yes. The Ace of Swords is a very decisive energy. Uh, so I guess that's you who will finally say, and uh, yes, this is how it's going to be. Yes, we're going to go to this vacation destination. Or yes, we're going to move into this house. Or something like that. Yes, we're going to move forward with whatever it is you're thinking about. And uh, again, the Six of Swords clarified by the Eight of Wands. Yeah, either going somewhere or there is progress. Um, or there is communication and things like that. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, uh, this week. Keep in mind that it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Four of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. And we have uh, the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is a bit of a strange uh, spread. Um, Leo, I don't think this King of Cups is coming back. They're thinking about it, but I, perhaps they know that Leos don't take anybody back, <laughs> right? And uh, they're just sitting in that uh, energy. And uh, that energy is devastation, feeling left out in the cold, feeling sad. Right? Uh, feeling miserable. They are regretting not having you in their life or they're regretting uh, what they did. They miss you. But again, there is no action here. Right? Zero. None. There is no pages here. There is no knights. There is no aces. Right? We do have uh, this King of Cups and we have you, the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So if you just recently broke up uh, with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their charts, and in case you were wondering how they feel, yeah, they feel miserable. They're devastated. I don't, again, I don't know if they're going to be reaching out to you. All right, so perhaps next week, but, um, and um, yeah, you will have to decide what you want to do with it. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We have uh, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, this is a red alert, Leo. First of all, watch your wallet and, uh, or watch your belongings, okay? Because uh, you may have a thief coming your way. For others of you, just be careful what you sign. Um, uh, if you work in an office and you have access to documents, online or physical access to documents, make sure whoever requests access to those documents have uh, proper authorization this week. Even if they always do. This week they may not have that proper authorization. Okay? Because, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I have. You definitely have somebody who is trying to uh, either steal from you or... Uh, they may try to, again, gain access to something they don't have access to. 
um, or it could be as simple as a telemarketer calling you trying to sell you something right uh, but uh, for others of you it could be something bigger than just the telemarketer calling you um, the seven of ones and the ten of swords I think this is the suggestion on how to react towards this shut them down put that phone down hang up on them or tell them to go back and get that authorization okay um, if you got a thief coming your way again be careful <laughs> even watch your cell phone right uh, all right, so that's that's what I have for you. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Leo. We have the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, clarified by the Sun, and uh, we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Cancer, perhaps another Leo. To be honest with you, the Sun card right next to the deck, clarifying the cha uh, the Chariot, that was me asking a final question: How will Leo feel about this? <laughs> And the sun showed up. The sun is one of your major arcana cards, right? So you will feel like yourself. <laughs> you will feel in your highest vibrational energy, right? Since it's in your major arcana. And at the same time, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Okay, so what's actually happening? Um, you either going somewhere or somebody is coming to see you. Yeah, there is definitely a travel involved. In some shape or form, what you're not expecting has something to do with some kind of a trip or a travel or perhaps even a car. Okay, so all three cards that originally came out, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords and the Chariot are travel cards, transportation cards, fast moving forward energy cards and things like that, right? Um, the Chariot could be a Cancer, the Knight of Swords could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but uh, you know, those are just, this is just the way of the universe to say that yes, you've got some kind of a trip or travel coming up, or somebody is coming to you. Um, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck uh, is a card of a, a wish come true, it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And then some tarot decks, the Nine of Cups looks like a, some kind of a celebration. So perhaps that's what you're not expecting, you're going to some kind of a celebration. Alright, so yeah, Leo, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this uh, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing week.